today I'm here at the top of Mount Borbor and for you I have a five minute review of the place I'm staying at which is called the Wombat Cabin and it's right behind me. Let's take a look. just checked in here. So I've only had a little bit of a look at the Wombat Cabin, um, but I thought it was best to show you how it was before, you know, I'd ruffled the blankets and whatever and whatnot. Um, so this cost me $220, um, which I think is the off peak price. Um, but I think it can get down to 175, I think it can get more expensive. Uh, just to your right as you enter, you've got this room, so you could probably fit at a push three here, uh, and then there is another room up there with a double bed. So this is a cabin for a maximum of five people. Um, although I think, you know, you probably only want to put two in here. Um, and so you've got bunk beds. Uh, for this room, you need to bring your own linen over here. Lots of storage space, cupboards. There's even a little heater in there. So what you have to remember is this is summer and there's no snow. And most people come to Mount Borbor in the winter because they want to do snow sports or spend time in the snow. So I guess those little heaters are in there to, to uh, you know, when you kind of you take your gear off and you hang them up there. There's even a little thing for your boots. Um, to try and stop you dragging snow and mud and muck into the cabin. And here we have the cabin. Uh, here it is. Over here we have a little kitchenette with gas stove. We've got sink and a fridge, freezer, and inside here a microwave and some free bug repellent. It's, it's a pretty small cabin. Um, as you can see, there's not much room. There's a nice table here and they've got some visitor information that they've thrown in. Um, over here we have the bathroom. Uh, it's a small bathroom, you've got your loo, you've got your shower. Over here, obviously they have a whole entertainment thing. So if you take the kids or something, got a whole selection of DVDs, even books. Remember them, folks. We have a little balcony uh, and just uh, smell the eucalyptus and feel the serenity. Uh, what a nice little spot to hang out. Of course, the main thing you want when you stay somewhere is a place to sleep. And this here is your master bedroom. Um, it's a smallish room, but it's comfortable enough. And it's got a little picture of a wombat who's pretty happy. Uh, to uh, watch over you at night so that none of those vicious kangaroos don't jump through the window and eat you. Top of the morning to you. Uh, here I am, yes. I survived the night here in the wombat cabin. I had a pretty good sleep. Uh, and I also had a good night of watching telly. Here's the unit there. Definitely no Wi-Fi in this place. I had a tiny bit of reception for a little bit and then it completely disappeared. So um, I just chilled, watched TV, went to bed and the bed was really comfortable actually. Yep, no complaints. And then I had a shower this morning and the shower was beautifully hot. It was fantastic. The uh, the ambient temperature of this place uh, is uh, a little bit of an issue. It's, it's really cold, look, outside, there we go, it's after 11 o'clock and it's misty and I don't know how much it is out there but it, it, it's not more than 10 degrees Celsius I don't think. Uh, it's chilly, the effectiveness of the heaters was a bit of a question, I didn't really feel the warmth coming from the one that's below the table over there uh, until a bit later. So it took, it takes a little while for this place to heat up. Down here we have a little fireplace, I suspect it might just be for show to be perfectly honest. So all in all, as far as I can see, this is one of the smaller, if not the smallest, um, of the cabins or places to stay around here. However, if you're just one or two people, I think it's uh, perfectly serviceable, uh, comfortable. You've got a stove, didn't really use it, I just used the microwave, um, used the kettle, that was about it, and the fridge. Um, it's got a good shower, 
comfortable bed. You'll need linen if you have extra people in the other room. 220, 175 to 220 per night. It's not cheap, but I, I don't think you're gonna do any better unless you wanna go to like the backpacker's place and stay in a dorm uh, up at Mount Borbor. That's, uh, that's what it is, and it is a full cabin, so I don't think it's uh, an outrageous price at all. Anyways, thank you very much. This has been my five minute review of the Wombat Cabin on Mount Bobo. See you on the next one. May the journey never end.